Welcome back to another video. So last time I showed off almost all the easter eggs in Twilight Princess. There was a surprising amount of things to cover, so let's take it easy for this video. We're going to return to the Great Sea and look at a few easter eggs in the two sequels to Wind Waker on the DS. Here are some easter eggs in Phantom Hourglass as well as Spirit Tracks. Let's get into it. This is the very first Zelda game that was ever released on the Nintendo DS. Following Nintendo's logic, that means that it's pretty much guaranteed they're going to make some sort of reference to the system in the game. Honestly, I just didn't think it'd be this blatant. In the Southeast Sea, east of Goron Island, is a special place. DS Island. A literal Nintendo DS. Even better than it just existing, you could actually run around with it, so admittedly it's, it's actually pretty cool. In this game, the postman has changed once again. He is now a short, strange little man with wings. He looks like a cross between a Highland and a Rito. In this game, he'll fly down and read Link's mail to him. During one of the first times you meet him, he'll say that he appreciates it if you don't shoot him down with a slingshot. This is a reference to Pete the Postman from Animal Crossing World World. In that game, the player could shoot down Pete with a slingshot. Okay, so can I come clean? Like, seriously? I, I really don't have much for this video. Even with two different Zelda games, I really had to scrape the bottom of the barrel for this one. There's probably some stuff I missed, to be honest, but really I tried. So anyways, I'm going to give you some generic chicken easter eggs. So consider this a bit of an apology in the form of a special edit for you. Just like in most Zelda games, if you attack a cuckoo enough, it'll go crazy and attack you back. And if you want to grab a chicken, use a grappling hook to make things easier. And lastly, if you're in the mood to kill a cuckoo, like literally, either toss it in the water or jump in while holding it. No escape for this one. Let's move on to spirit tracks, but first I'd like to show you a cool connection between the two games. So a bit of backstory first, Phantom Hourglass takes place right after Wind Waker. Spear Tracks happens about a hundred years later in the land discovered by Link, Tetra, and the pirate crew at the end of Hourglass. In the start of both games, there is a cutscene giving us some story with some paper cutouts. In Phantom Hourglass, it's revealed that Nico, the pirate, is telling a story to a sleeping Link. In Spear Tracks, once more it shows that Nico, now really, really old, is telling a sleeping Link story. That's really, really cool. That's a great bit of parallelism. In this game, Zelda accompanies Link as a spirit of sorts. During certain parts, she'll control a suit of armor, just like in Full Metal Alchemist. The player tells her where to go by drawing a path on the ground. If you draw a path and then whip her with your whip, she'll move much faster, which can be very, very helpful. Unfortunately, if you go overboard with the Zelda abuse, she'll get mad and fight back. You thought I was done with it. Time for more bird trivia. Just like in Phantom Hourglass, attack a cuckoo enough and it'll end you. It might actually be the same animation because a lot of stuff was carried over from the first game to this one, but honestly I have no clue. If you take out your flute and play the song of birds with some cuckoos nearby, they'll fly over and land next to Link. <laughs> Even cooler is that you play the same song near some of those white birds like in Aboda Village. One will hang out on Link's head. Oh my god, look at it, it's so cute! <laughs> it's so great! If you go in Hyrule Castle, you can find room with Captain Guard Russell. For a small price of 20 rupees, Link can train with the three guards there. The objective is to hit the guards as much as possible, without getting hit three times yourself. You can get a few different rewards from this, but what we really want to do is get above 900 hits. It'll be extremely tedious, but when you finally get there, You'll be rewarded with the captain of title. You'll be rewarded with the title of captain. Anyways, so that's the end of the video. Super short, sorry about that, this, this, this will definitely take the video, but I wanted to get something out that was super short and super easy to do because this weekend is PAX West. I'll be going there, it should be fun, but it just meant that if I didn't get a video done, it'd be like another week before anything comes out. So here you go. In the meantime, if you check out the videos on screen, you'll have something nice to watch, or you can double check the playlist to see 
some stuff maybe you haven't seen, I don't know. If you have any suggestions for stuff I should cover, let me know. But yeah, so that's about it. As always, thanks for watching, and have a great day.